So in today's video, I am going to be doing the 2022 Greenville Beginner's Guide. Now, for those of you who don't know, earlier on last year, I actually did a, a Beginner's Guide for Greenville, which actually has now become my most popular video over on my channel. However, since Greenville has changed quite a lot since then, I've decided that I'm going to actually do a revamped version of that for all you new players who would like to know how to play the game. Now, for those of you who haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as the same as last video, if you guys don't, then uh, you're going to be becoming this snowflake up here. And I don't think any of you guys want to become snowflakes. I mean, if you do, that's up to you. But yeah, anyways, let's get straight into the video. All right, so many of you probably know that on Roblox, uh, you'll see a game here. It's called Greenville, of course. And basically, once you click on that, then you'll basically just click the play button right here. And then you'll be straight into the game. Now, as soon as you're loading into the game here, you will actually see that there is a bit of a loading screen and basically what you're gonna have to do here is click play and then you will actually spawn over at this dealership right here and basically once you get here all you really want to do is go up to the actual dealership area and you want to find some cards of your choice that you would like to buy now usually you start off with around three thousand five hundred dollars in your bank account so a way how to actually navigate cheap cars is by going into filters and then you basically just click affordable on the sort area and then you basically click filters again and then you'll pretty much or you should get cars that suit the price budget of new players now i do think it is kind of broken right now because for some reason it's showing up with highly luxury cars instead however in my opinion though if you actually put trucks into your filter there is actually a truck that is very good for a starter vehicle and this is actually the 1992 chevron platoro which is also a chevy silverado but they have had to use fictional names due to copyright reasons but basically you would like to get the three thousand five hundred dollar trim in whatever color you would like and this thing doesn't have the greatest performance but for a starter car it is not bad at all and i would highly recommend getting this thing now basically when you get onto this tab you can obviously see what specs the car actually has you can also see what trim you're getting. However, I'd recommend getting $3,500 trim for you starting players. And then you are also able to change the color of the vehicle. But for this instance, in this video, I'm gonna just be making it the default black color. And then basically you just click on the purchase button or the buy button. And then you'll see the money go out of your account and it will say successfully purchased. So then all you'll need to do here is go over to your sort of car choosing area. And you should be able to see the car somewhere in your inventory. Alrighty, so once you find it, you just want to click it. And then it should just spawn out in front of you. And then you press E to get in. And now you are driving your car. Now, by default, it should automatically just turn on. However, if you do want to change your gauges and like... Or like make it so you actually have to click the button to turn it on or anything you can actually do all of that via this menu here where you're able to choose your gauges style of course to have it as an advanced style or just a simplistic style and then you're also able to change your gear shifting mode and you're also able to make it so then you can actually turn on your engine so right now everything does seem pretty basic but now i'm actually going to get into the controls of things so if you would like to use the horn on your car you can just hold down h and then you'll be able to use the horn on your car. If you'd like to turn on your lights, you can press L and then you'll be able to use your lights. And then for your blinkers, for your left blinker, you wanna use Z. For your right blinker, you want to use C. And for your hazards, you want to use X in between both of those. So it's honestly pretty straightforward and simplistic. So yeah, that's pretty much a run through of pretty much all of the car controls within the game. Now here are some controls with the gauges that you can actually use. So with the advanced gauges, you can actually turn on cruise control by either pressing these arrows and leaving it there. And then you'll just go at the set speed or you can just go to any speed you want and then click this button in the middle and then you'll just get, stay at that speed again. And a lot of games do not have cruise control within Roblox, so this is honestly a really cool feature. Also, if you have advanced gear shifting, if you press M, you can change it to automatic, semi, or manual. And also you can press Q and E to downshift and upshift, like so. And if you click the miles per hour icon, you can actually change what metrics you are using. Now, when it comes to buying houses, it's actually pretty straightforward compared to some other games because you don't actually have to spend money to purchase houses. And instead, all you have to do is drive up the driveway to the actual house. And then pretty much you can just touch the mailbox and then you will actually be able to own the house. 
And right now, since it is the Christmas season, you will actually see decorations around the place, but that is temporary. Now, when it comes to houses, you can obviously open up and close your garage by pressing the button up at the top of the screen, which is honestly some pretty good attention to detail. Also, if you press the lock and unlock button, you can lock and unlock all of your doors in your house. And this nice settings button up here actually gives you the ability to add roommates into your into your sort of like house who are in the game and also you are able to change the color of your houses which is actually a recent feature and usually you are able to change the colors of your roof as well but since it, the, it is snowed in currently you're actually able to change the color of your light also it comes up with an option to sell your house if you don't not like to have it anymore and also you can only own one house at a time and the houses look pretty cool on the inside you can actually use the tvs you can manually open up most of the doors so so as you guys can see here, there's actually an option to open up the door right here. You can also wash your hands in the sink, and you can also bake stuff and open up the fridge if your house contains one. Like so. Now at the moment, within Greenville, there are actually about four or five interactive jobs within the game. So we have the Bolt Price Food Shop Worker, we have the Burger Horse work Worker, and we have GVPS Worker, and we have the Twist Worker. Now I'm not going to be going through all four of these interactive jobs today, I'm only going to be showing you guys one of them, but if you guys would like to see an entire guide of all of the current interactive jobs within the game, then I have actually posted a video about that in the past, which you guys can go ahead and check out, which pretty much goes through everything in depth how all the jobs work and how you make money from them now the way how you're actually able to tell if it is an interactive job is if it does have a red text on it if it has gray text then it is not interactive and it's just a regular job that you would usually use so yeah that's the way how you tell the difference between those two things also another thing here is that when your car begins to run low on gas or electricity then you can actually just simply jump out of your car click on the gas pump at the gas stations and then you can simply click fill up and it will actually fill up your entire gas in your car, which will basically give you a lot more driving time. Also, I do just want to say that gas money does not actually exist in this game, so you will not have to use money to pay for your gas. And I don't know if they'll ever add that in the future where you do, but for now, at least you do not have to. So if you would like to work at a job, right here I am at the twist, which is in front of Subway. You actually just have to click on the job selection button, and then you click on the job that you want to use. And then, like so, you will actually be working at the job. Now, within private servers and public servers, you do have AI that you can serve, but you can also choose to turn them off within the private server settings. And do keep in mind, you are only able to do this in private servers. Anyways, right here, he is showing you what he wants so when it comes to food i'll choose this uh ice block right here and then when it comes to the drink i'll choose the same drink so now it actually comes up with how much money it costs him so it says five dollars so basically you literally just want to click that actually my bad so it costs five dollars but he gave you so, uh, a lot of money so then you have to give him his change so basically my bad you actually have to look at the change area and then you basically add up all that change to be that same amount so right now i have ten dollars so i could probably add another 20 and then that makes it 30 dollars. then i'll get five one dollar and then basically i'll just need to add up 65 cents and then just like that that should be good and now he is gone and now what you have to do is actually grab the tray and you actually have to pick the correct food and drink from the kitchen orders that are shown on the TV, which in the twist case is over here. And you do want to get a certain amount of time to actually do this. So yeah, you need to be quite quick when it comes to this. And you basically just click on the same stuff that they actually ordered. I don't think you have to fill up the drinks or anything, but you basically just have to click on that stuff and then you place it down and then you will actually get paid a small amount of money. Also, another th cool thing is that you still get paid when you are not serving customers as well. So that is definitely an upside and it's pretty much like that for every other job within the game. However, interactive jobs do tend to pay more just because that you can get the money that you'll get anyways and then you'll also get more money for the people that you serve. So if you do want to get some quick cash, then interactive jobs are definitely a good way to do so. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's uh, video. So if you guys would like some more help when it comes to the beginner's guide type thing, then you can either watch my last video that I made on it a couple months ago, or you can actually click the question mark button up here in helps and tutorials. And basically it will come up with a bunch of different things right here, which you can read and go through if you would like to know more about the game. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, see you later guys and goodbye.